back to my channel. It is a stunning day today. It's so beautiful outside. I thought I'd film my full makeup tutorial today for you guys. It's going to be a nice full face look, so we're going to be starting from scratch today. Always good, always good. So let's get to the skin first, honey. So today I'm going to take my 100% pure mattifying primer, which is infused with lots of vitamins and antioxidants to help with my skin because I'm still healing it up. And this is infused with lots of good things to help boost the skin. And it's also got seaweed collagen in it, so it's super good to plump the skin up and make it healthy. Plus this one's nice and mattifying and because it is summer for me over here, I do want to mattify my skin because I can get a little bit oilier than usual. So if you guys haven't really been, you know, following my channel for long or you're new, I am all for 100% natural makeup products. I totally believe in like healthy skincare and like natural skin products because our skin is an organ which absorbs whatever is sitting on it. So if you have like a lot of chemicals sitting on the skin, your skin is going to absorb that into the body and it's going to be pushing toxins around us, which is not exactly good for us. So I like to use products that you know, I'm more on the natural side. I haven't been doing that as much lately, but I want to get back into trying to find, you know, good, healthy makeup products. So I'm going to be doing that. So now that my skin is primed and ready to go, honey, we're going to move on to foundation. And the one I'm going in with today is one I haven't used in a while because I haven't been tan enough for it. It is the EXI, or EX1, sorry, Invisiwear Foundation in the shade F200. Girl, I love this foundation. It is the most flawless finish you can literally possibly get. I feel like it's so good. This foundation is so good for people with oily, like oily skin, for olive skin people because it's got this like orange, I oh, can't speak today. It's got like an olivey undertone to it. So it's really, really good. My skin tone is not quite F200. I'm more maybe F100 maybe if that's the lighter one. I don't know. I got this one a while last year when I was super super tan and I'm still getting there but I was like I'll pull this baby out today like why not like I feel like I look whiter than I am in the camera like I'm actually quite tan guys like, I'm pretty proud of it I've been doing a lot of lifeguarding outside because I'm working at an outdoor pool and girl I've been getting my tan on of course I've been wearing the SPF protection you always do but I've been enjoying getting a bit of a tan at the same time saving lives and getting a tan <laughs> And uh, yeah, because it's not quite, because I'm not quite as tan as this, I'm making sure to bring it down my neck and a little bit on the bod as well. You know how it is. I might just take a little bit of my Matte and Pores Creamy Beige Foundation because it's lighter than this one. And I'm just going to mix a smidgen, just a smidge of this foundation. But you guys, before I put on the Matte and Pores, do you guys just see the finish of this foundation? Like, it is so nice. Mmm! Put them on my neck, put them on my face, and blend it all in. I have a little pimple just down here from wearing sunscreen all the time. I don't know what it is, I just always break out with sunscreen. I've been using this Mand Manda one. I think I put it in my uh, clearing acne video. But it's really good, like it's all natural. And that one doesn't break me out, but I didn't have it with me the other day. And I was like, oh, I have to use this other one, like, from work. They always have sunscreen at work. So I had to use that one, and it broke me out. And I was like, but I guess, you know, sun protection's, of course, more important than breakouts. But, you know, my skin was just doing so good, and then I had to go and ruin it with that sunscreen. But I'm going to be more prepared next time and make sure I bring it. Because even though it's like a paste, that Manda one, it actually doesn't break me out like it's so good. I think it's because it doesn't have the chemicals in it and my skin doesn't react to it. Maybe that's what it is, but it's so good. It's all natural. It protects you really well from the sun, especially in Australia. Sorry. We have really harsh sun, like there's a hole in the ozone layer. So we have really harsh sunlight, so we get burnt, like if you're out in the sun for 10 minutes in the middle of the day, you get burnt, like, and I mean really burnt. So it's really good, like, it, stand, it withstands the Australian sun, so I give it the big tick. <laughs> yeah, it matches me a bit better. I will leave it at that. So now our foundation is caked on. No, it's not caked on, but you know, now our foundation's on, we can move on to Consuela. So, it's like our friend, we're going to go in with our Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This one is so good. I literally do not crease. 
with this one. I don't know, I creased with a lot of the other concealers that I own, so I don't use them for like long wear. I'll just use them for like, you know, if I'm going out quickly or whatever. So I think I'm gonna snooze. <coughs> oh. So this one is so good because I literally, I just don't crease with this one. It is so good. Like, I can leave it on here, you know, put on some other makeup. Like, I don't even have to powder it straight away. Like, I, I can just put on my concealer, do my brows if I'm doing, a, if I'm in a rush, and then set my concealer in place, and it will not have budged. It's so good. And then I'm taking my F86 Kabuki, so the tapered Kabuki brush. Make sure to get that in a corner, girlfriend literally in love with this brush right now so I've already primed my lids um, when I did my brows before but usually I'd go in with concealer and prime my lids so you guys can go ahead and do that so today I'm going to take again my master strobing highlighter from Maybelline and I'm just gonna pop this on the high points of my face I think I might just do my cheekbones and nose I won't do above the forehead I feel like with a liquid highlighter it looks so much more natural and the reason why I've loved been doing this instead of just the powder is because when I can when I just use the powder sometimes it looks really like it looks like just a streak on my face this one's like a, this creates like a nice glowy base so when I do apply the highlighter it kind of fades in it's like a gradient effect it goes from like the um, liquid highlighter into the actual powdered highlighter next I'm going to take my fit me press powder in 135 and I'm just going to set under my eyes basically where I place the concealer and I'm actually just going to use the little sponge thing that it came with I'm just going to press this into the skin under the eyes not necessarily baking kind of it is baking but we're pressing it into the skin so there's no excess so it's kind of light it's a light bake and I'll just set around my nose where I can tend to get a bit oily or like where the makeup breaks up and I'll just kind of pat it over the pores to kind of blow them out because this is like a lighter powder it's going to highlight the face subtly so by bringing it on an upward angle towards like the tail of my brow like upwards to the hairline it lifts the face subtly so you get that notion, that subtle natural facelift without even trying girlfriend without even trying it's so easy and I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I'm just going to spritz this all over my face to get rid of any excess powder and lock the makeup in place. And by fanning it in place it just kind of helps it activate and lock everything in and do its thing. I can already tell this is going to be a long video so I'm going to try and speed things up a bit. Okay, now the base is in place I'm just contemplating whether I want to go to bronzing or whether I want to go to the eyes. And I think I might do the eyes. Just in case you guys just like hurry up and do the eyes already, Megan. I'll hurry up and do them. <laughs> We're a little bit close with them, so I'm just adjusting. Do you like the braids today, guys? I'm feeling like, I don't know, I feel like Princess Layery. So, to begin off with the eyes, I'm going to take my transition colour from my Morphe 350 palette. And I'm literally just going to whack this through the crease. It's really messy. It doesn't need to be neat because it is a transition colour. To help the other colours that we apply on top, the deeper colours blend in a lot smoother and seamlessly. Next I'm going to take this like corally red shade and mix it with this brick brown shade to kind of deepen it up a little bit. And I'm going to place this through the crease as yet like another transition into the deeper vampire colours. And I'm using that same fluffy blending brush. And I'm just bringing this from outer corner, so right out here through the crease to the inner corner. About two thirds of the way, so not all the way into the inner corner. And just buffing it in circular motions and windscreen wiper motions. And I like to kind of switch between like closing my eye and opening it and lifting the brow up so I can really stretch it and do a softer blend and then really compact the colour in there when I want to. So it's just kind of like maneuvering the face, you know. And then just taking a 228 Zoeva brush, I'm just going to soften the edges um, with some of that transition brown shade. Next I'm taking Bitten from Makeup Geek and I'm going to place this from the outer corner and through the crease to really give that burgundy, like deep, ready, whiny kind of shade to the look. 
And I'm bringing this shade all the way to the inner corner of the lid. So not in the crease, just on the lid area. And then I buff it through the like, crease here. And I don't think I mentioned before, but each time I bring a, like, I place a different color on, I'm bringing it lower down in the crease so that it creates a nice gradient effect. And because I am experiencing some fallout, I'm just going to grab some translucent powder and just place this on the bottom part of my face under the eyes. It doesn't have to be neat, just like whack on some translucent powder to catch any fallout. Next I'm just taking a pencil brush with the same Bitten shade and I'm just place, placing this on top of where we just blended through Bitten with that petite um, crease brush just because I want it to be more pigmented. And I'm just using packing motions to press it in to the lid area. And I just buff out the very edges with that petite crease brush. Oops. I'm just buffing out the edges with that brick brown shade and that corally red shade. Next I'm taking Curtain Call on a flat shader brush. This one's just from Morphe. And I'm just going to pack this gorgeous foiled eyeshadow all over the lid. Then just taking Bitten on a pencil brush and we're just going to place this right on the outer edges of Curtain Call. Then taking this really deep brown from my Morphe 350 palette, I'm just going to deepen out the outer corners. And then just taking Bitten on a petite crease brush, we're just going to soften the edges. Now I'm just going to quickly apply some mascara. Next I'm taking these Icona lashes from their Midnight Collection in the shade Make Him Miss Me. And these are gorgeous, very fluffy, voluminous lashes, but they're not too much. They're not too intense. They're very wispy and fluffy. To move on with the eyes, I'm going to go with my Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Espresso. It's a nice brown shade, and I'm going to place this in my waterline. Next, I'm taking Bitten on a pencil brush from Gloss. I'm going to place this underneath my lash line. Then I'm taking a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to buff out the edges. Then taking some of that deep brown shade from the Morphe 350 palette on a definer brush from Zoeva, I'm going to wiggle this really tightly against my lash line, focusing it on the outer corner. And I'm just tapering it in towards the inner corner. And then just buff it out a bit with Bitten. Next I'm taking Shimmer Shimmer on a pencil brush and placing this on my inner corner and brow bone. I actually decided to go in with a matte sh shadow for my brow bone because I've got a few stray hairs so I've just gone in with white lies from Makeup Geek instead. I'm quickly just going to place on some bottom lash mascara and wipe away the excess translucent powder and we can move on with the rest of the face. So I want to give a bit of bronze to the skin because in fall season you can tend to get a little bit more pale because we're not seeing the sun as much so I'm going to warm up the complexion. So nothing fancy with this one. I'm just going to grab my Micellin Barbados Babe Bronzer and I'm just going to basically apply this to the perimeters of my face and of course on the nose area to give a natural glow and warmth to the skin. And I'm also going to bring it like down the contours of my body for a more of a natural all rounder glow like warmth to the skin because if it's all just flakes on the face it can look kind of funny sometimes. And I always soften it, always, always, always with my beauty sponge. To contour, I'm using my Chi Chi Tapered Bronzer Brush and going in with Breakup um, Contour Powder from Makeup Geek and contouring the cheekbones, nose, and under the lip as well. Next, I'm taking this, like, corally peachy warm shade from my Morphe 9N Blush Palette and I'm placing this on the contours of my face. So for my Violet Voss Highlighting Trio, I'm going to take Moon Gleam and Star Glow, but mainly Moon Gleam, on my contour brush. And I'm just going to place this on the high points of my face. But I'm not going to highlight my like above my brow today. And then I'm finishing off with a setting spray. I'm going in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to lock my base in place. For lips, I'm going in with two options today, guys. I went in with a gloss from Dose of Colors in the shade Undressed. It's a very muted, like, it's very nude, very nude lip gloss. And I thought it would be, like, an option if you guys aren't really into the whole bold lip, bold eyes look. But I thought because this is an autumn, like, fall look, and it is quite a bold look. So I went in with Chocolate Wasted from Dose of Colors. It's a liquid lipstick, and I'm placing this for my lip color. Every time I hear like chocolate wasted, it reminds me of like the Adam Sandler movie um, Grown Ups when they tell the kids like 
getting wasted is like getting like chocolate wasted or oh, cracks me up and that's all I think of when I think of the name but yeah this is the finished look guys so I hope you enjoyed today I'm sorry it was like a long tutorial but I like chatting with you guys and it's it's fun to get ready with you. I'll make sure to leave all the products that I use linked down below in the description bar if you guys want to check them out, along with brushes and all that good stuff. I like to have an awesome day, guys. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye, my loves.